Hello, my name is Helen Steers. Welcome to this six-part interview with private equity veterans and PIP board directors, John Burgess and John Singer. In this interview, they will discuss the private equity industry, how it has evolved, the response to the COVID-19 crisis, and what they think Pantheon International PLC, or PIP, offers to investors. This is part one. John Burgess and John Singer, thank you very much for joining us today to talk about Pantheon International, which we refer to commonly as PIP. Before we get started, I wanted to give some background to the interview. Now, both of you have been members of the PIP board since the 23rd of November 2016, and you've been very active in supporting PIP on many fronts, especially given your lengthy and specialist knowledge of the private equity industry. John Burgess, you have over 20 years experience in private equity as a co-founder and managing partner of BC Partners, a leading buyout manager, and you were previously a partner at the Boston Consulting Group in London and in Paris. In addition to all your work in private equity, you're an independent member of the governing body of the Royal Academy of Music, and you've been a director of the Business Growth Fund. John Singer, with over 30 years experience in private equity, most recently with Advent International, and as a prior chairman of the European Venture Capital Association, you played a central role in the development of the industry. In addition, you're currently involved with several organizations in the arts and education uh, sectors, um, and you currently lecture actually on private equity at INSEAD, the European Business School. Welcome to you both. You are both veterans of the private equity industry with over 50 years of investment experience between you, having invested with your partners more than 55 billion euros in almost 300 companies. With this sort of background, what do you see as the main advantages for investors in private equity? Well, Helen, I think uh, in one word, performance. Sadly, though, uh, there's no automatic sort of connection between investing in private equity and making super returns. Um, and unfortunately, it does mean you have to focus on the best PE managers and they in turn must be for following best practice. What do I mean by best practice? Uh, that means hands-on active investors creating substantial value in their portfolio companies on a consistent, sustainable basis through the cycles. That, in turn, will get reflected in those funds' long-term outperformance of public markets in a sustainable way. John, that's, um, that's great. That really does give us a good, a good insight. Um, I'll turn now to John Burgess. What, what, are your, what are your thoughts on this? Well, performance, absolutely. I agree with, uh, with John. Um, and it's really through early access to exciting growth-oriented businesses uh, mostly in industry segments that are often underrepresented in public markets. And with the phenomenon that we have of shrinking public markets and the fact that many young companies will stay private for longer and some may never become public at all, investing in private equity is really the only way to have a piece of these attractive opportunities. That's great. Thanks. That's a, that's a really um, comprehensive view of the advantages of, of private equity. 